I've been waiting a long time to show the box ceramics. I've never shown a group of tanukis. I've never shown the suiseki that I've collected over the years. This is an opportunity to show three very special arts of the Japanese culture together in one show. Like there might be 20 suisekis, there may only be a dozen tanukis. It takes time to find great stuff. This is amazing. This week has been a challenge, as you can imagine. I'm really happy with the show. Oh, it's fabulous. And it's just kind of the right cadence all, you know, yeah. since we opened. Sometimes when I'm with a Japanese friend, um, the real aficionados will, yeah. will treat you to some really great tea. I love your stuff. Thank you. But uh, what I'm curious about is my daughter and I are going to Kyoto in um, the end of October. Yeah, we, we, oh, you lucky dog. We wanted to see if you had any suggestions or, or recommendations. <laughs> Look at the, you the can color. see the age. Mm -hmm. I mean, the lots color of... color on this, I mean, it's pigment. It must yeah. It's kind of painted or something. It's been repaired a lot, but I don't care. I think it's just spectacular. Have you ever seen the spoons? Like for ramen? No, for, for taking the, the dry tea out of the, out of the container. If you look at a map of Kyoto, it's the uh, northwest corner. The end is only like this big. You can only get like a hundredth of an ounce. Right, no, I don't think I've seen that. Kyoto University is there. My favorite temple, which is the Silver Temple, okay. Ginkakuji, and right near that is something called the Philosopher Path. You have a great team. The staff so is, nice. you couldn't ask for better people. I'm so, if they weren't fabulous, I could never leave and go buy this stuff. I always love it when you have these little sort of special exhibitions. Did you see the video? The whisks, are those? just for display or would you say those are actually to be used? Oh, they're, they're antiques point? and they've been used. What a treat to meet you and oh, what see a you. Great and thing that you're doing here. Yeah. We love these receptions you have. We're like we're right on it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So if someone were to buy one, would yeah. you say just keep it as a No, antique? I'd say use it. Would you? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we're going we're going up. Up. Enjoy yeah. that. The first room you go through is um, mostly shaman. And then it, but it's mixed. Yeah. Can we find small shops there where it's so? We want to find tanukis. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's easier said than done. Well, that's what. Yeah, we're here to research. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I get almost everything through auction. Oh. I have a friend who. Oh no. For. <laughs> we built this trip around getting tanukis. <laughs> no. <laughs> You know, I have so many friends and clients that uh, go to Bali thinking they're going to find the best stuff themselves, yeah. and they yeah. come back and buy here. <laughs> Backpacks and stuff, I can't even imagine. They were so incredible. Yeah. I got to say, that was probably my favorite They room. are incredible. Some lady came up who, she said just bought a bunch of stuff from me. She's like, oh, this room's got so much energy. The classical court dress here is from that Heian period, which is about the year 1000. Oh. And that was sort of the, that was the classical period of Japanese. Every all art culture goes back to that period, just oh. like in our culture, ancient Rome and Greece has been sort of the touchstone of Western civilization. For Japan, the Heian period, about 300 years, when hmm. that the whole court culture was developed in Japan, and the whole it was a time of peace and, and elegant manners. Oh. And that was when. Oh. Um, um, the uh, Tale of Genji was written. Right. And, uh, that was the first thing I ever read. Yeah, really? Yeah, oh, 19 years amazing. old. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. You were, that's a big book to read for any age. All these ceramics are yeah. from Shigaraki. Okay. A lot of the box things are Shigaraki. Okay. Uh, that's the home of the modern Tanuki. So the first ones were made there of this type. So there are probably collectors there that have old tanuki. And there's thousands of new ones, but there are a, there's shops here and there that might have old ones. 
that's the best I can do for you. They look back on that period, so you'll see things with court, you know, the courtiers, the aristocrats wore this kind of hat with the strap on wow. the chin and this, and then, of course, the fan with the, with the red, the rising oh. sun. Right oh. on the fan there, and uh, so it's it's it's, it's pretty really cool. Cute. <laughs> Especially it's a monkey. It's a monkey too. Yes. <laughs> Making a little fuss. Yes. David is a very thoughtful dealer. He's not somebody who just buys up something to flip it. I mean, he really wants to do the research about it. He has a deep appreciation and love of the culture. I collect ceramics, and I have bought several here. One piece that I bought here. I donated to a museum because it ended up being that important. Uh, it was a marvelous big shigaraki piece and it was the kind of piece that David bought because he was loved it, but he knew that only somebody somebody would look at it and sort of say, oh, it's a big brown bowl. But it was in fact by quite a renowned potter and it was in an exhibition up in Pasadena and then they asked if they could keep it and I said, why not? So I've been very impressed with the exhibitions that he's had. That's the kind of a person that any collector really needs to get to know, is a dealer who has that deep appreciation, knowledge, understanding, and wants to explore along with you.